Um, so. Silence once again falls into the train car as all of your aggressors fall limp to the ground. Ordinance is pretty much going to immediately... How long are short rests now? Are they 30 minutes or are they 5? They're a whole hour. Okay. So then I won't do that, obviously. But Ordinance, on taking the fight is done, he starts to check the damage done to his clothes. <coughs> and you see him sort of pat angrily at his arm, and you see something sort of twitch, but nothing actually, like a, like a plate start to open up, but stop. He shakes his head. He's still doing self-inspection for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. You're muted right now. Oh, wait, no. You're, you know you're muted. Yeah. <sighs> Self-defense. Vigorous. Self-defense. Ordinance defense. Self with the other ever on or none of you bought me a drink or told me your names. Hmm. I appreciate your assistance, I say. Not many would come to the aid of a warforge in these parts. <coughs> it's not exactly the way I like to wake up from my nap on the car. I suspect we're going to have an interesting conversation with the conductor any moment now. He was the one that stopped the car. As though on schedule, uh, the door starts to open up, and you hear a, a gasp and a... What in the hells? They started it. <coughs> Polar has stopped raging in the Breathing has come down to a more calm level. <laughs> he still has the two crossbow bolts, one sticking out of his chest, the other is protruding from an arm. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, a clerk comes through and is like, What happened here? We were minding our business, and these bozos just up and got all hostile. He sort of looks up at you with wide eyes. Uh, right. They all look I like... Was a, Sorry. I was attacked, Ordnance says. This uh, woman here, and he points at the fallen form of Bowern, disliked my presence on the train, and after attempting to kill me, these individuals kindly came to my defense. He looks over the lot of you. Your weird bunch. <laughs> it says, these look like soldiers. Uh, how do I know that I can trust any of you? We bought passage just like everybody else. Yeah, you've got money on you. Okay. I'm going no, to hand I'm, them enough I'm, money I'm, that they're going to turn around and shut up. <laughs> Alright. All the right. Hero of small towns everywhere. I have to <laughs> each of the... The conductor came in with someone else, right? Uh, no, it was, it was just this one clerk. I'm handing that person enough money that they're going to turn around and shut up. Um, so you didn't see anything. A freak accident. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I attempted House Kunderak Broad. Um... <laughs> He takes the money into his hand and says, This isn't going to help me if the conductor finds out. That'll be taken care of. Accidents happen all the time. Might be a couple of weird stains to take care of. This is for your trouble. I'm going to toss another two gold something. Sure. <laughs> well, what, what about the, the bodies? There's so many of them. The That's why we've got windows. I'm going to talk to another two and be like, ask again, and I'm going to show, like, I'm going to pull my dagger out. Okay. I, I'll come back in three minutes. Thank you. <laughs> he walks back into the other cart. Okay. <coughs> Those two that 
Do they need to stay alive? Well, do they need to stay alive? Do we need anything from them? Not that I know of. I'm hesitant to destroy prisoners, Ordnance says. Yeah, well, let's keep them alive so they can answer questions like why they're, they're others and their superior officer started fighting, uh, started this fight. Excellent. So, how wide do these windows open? Because <coughs> we've got three minutes, and by now it's probably two. Let's go. The windows probably don't open wide enough, but uh, if you get in between the carts... I'm going to try to break the nearest window, whatever rule I need to make for that. Strength? Sure. Do I get my proficiency bonus? Uh... I don't know. No. Okay. I keep reading the same slash rule. Okay. How's that? You break a window! <laughs> Great. Clear out the rest of the grass, so glass, the grab the nearest guy, <coughs> yep. huck him out the window. <laughs> I'm just going to keep doing it. There's dead guy. Caldery will help. Yeah, um, I'm also gonna help. Uh, so we're gonna volunteer fire brigade this shit. All right. <laughs> uh, well, this guy's alive. <laughs> this guy's alive. The rest of them are thrown out the windows. <laughs> <laughs> um, real quick. The one I over. Do you take their stuff before you throw them out the yes. windows? <laughs> if there's anything really obviously on, particularly the leader, yeah, I, like, I might try to investigate it quickly. She has a, a satchel. Uh, there's a small letter hanging out of it that you can see sort of the edge of a, a, a envelope hanging out of it, uh, as well as a, you know the clink of gold. Yep. Um, the other guys all have small co coin purses. Yep. Yoink. Uh, I'll take the letter. Okay. Uh, do you look inside the envelope? Is the next question. I wait till the corpses are out of the window, but I'll do it fairly quickly, I guess. Sure. Alrighty. Uh, you've got a new handout, Bill. <coughs> oh, so I do. Um. On the rest of uh, them, on all, all between them, uh, between all the thugs, you find about 96 silver pieces and about 10 gold on the woman in the armor. I was so, splitting uh, this up. Just divided even? Divided evenly with a share for the conductor who's going to have to repair those benches <coughs> and that window. Right. He can have my share. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of like, just take a couple thousand dollars. She never said her name to us, right? We don't know her name? Nope. The dead chick. Have we already thrown her out the window? <coughs> uh, I believe so. Okay. Do any of these names mean anything to me beyond, like, Tarnath? Nope. Okay. Uh, let me check. Uh, no. None okay. of them do. Uh, what did the letter say, Ordinance? Or Warforged? I don't know if you said your name. <coughs> I haven't. Walk and ask for the letter. I'm sorry, walk and the letter? Uh, I hand it sort of absentmindedly in her direction. Sure. It sounds like the letter's just being shared, so we're going to show it to all the players. Sounds good. Right, so all of you should have that uh, letter. Mm -hmm. 
Good. <laughs> Ordinance continues to sort of move about the train. Um, yeah, making sure that he's or it's uh, it's in one piece. Sure. At, at about that time, the door opens back up, and the clerk peeks his head in and says, "Is uh, I suppose that'll do. I need to head through to the next car. Is that going to be all right?" Yeah. Organs looks in the right direction. Please. Thank you. Great. Uh, I'll, I'll be right over there then. And he uh, hurries through and goes through the next cart. But what are we to do with these two? Ordnance says, pointing in the direction of the two passed out soldiers. I can't imagine this was the result of any nefarious plan, so much as simple ignorance. Well, we've taken their weapons. And that Should we just let them get off at the next stop, or whenever they were planning on it? Hopefully quote-unquote, accidentally killing their friends and beating them up should be less than enough. Perhaps. I suppose I might want some form of assurance that they won't report. I don't want Carnathy soldiers chasing me down later. Yeah, I guess that would be a problem. <coughs> One big fix to that. Yeah. Do you trust it? Do you trust that will occur the way you want it to? Hmm. Well, they've gotten enough that surely they'd be willing to do a small favor of helping my friends get back home. I don't know these area. If you believe you have better connections, then I'm willing to allow you to do that. I'm willing to, uh, not allow, willing to do that. I think I am going to walk over and try to slap the nearest one awake. Okay, that's a successful attempt. Ah! <coughs> Hold him up off the ground with my left arm. If I can do that, strength 15, I guess it's up to you. I think I probably can. What have we learned, I'll say? Not to attack random people in a train car. I'd say that suffices. What are you going to say about this to your superiors? We made a mistake. Can you be slightly more specific? We... we were the aggressors? I suppose that will suffice. Thank you're you. You're going to stick with uh, the leader of the... the gentleman running the train here, and you're going to go <coughs> all the way back to... where did we come from again, Matt? I'm sorry, Valyar? Is that what it's called? Volyar. Mm -hmm. Going to go back to Volyar. What you do after that is your own business. If we hear that you did not get off the train at Voliar, we may come back for you. If I need to make an intimidate check, let me know. Sure. I'm actually not great at that. Because <laughs> my charisma is nine, but I do have a proficiency bonus. There you go. Alright, it's effective enough, it looks like. <clears throat> I'll put him down. <coughs> and move. So I guess I was here. And then I'll move towards one of these, I guess my seat, sit back down and continue to inspect the damage done. He doesn't really have eyebrows or much facial, he doesn't have much of facial expressions, but you can still see it's sort of disappointed that something didn't happen the way it wanted it to. Mm -hmm. With its armor in the fight. Uh, so you guys have a chance to spend, uh, take a short rest, definitely. Honestly, a long rest before you get into Iron Town. It's going to be another ten hours or so. Darwin's just kind of side-eyeing, side eyeing side eyeing ordinance because trying to understand Warforge. Can I help you? Ah, oh, everybody's back. 
I'm sorry, but somebody. Yeah, or ordinance said Darwin. Can I help you? No, nah, she's just kind of ignoring the fact that he said something. Okay. <laughs> then ordinance is pretty she, happy to ignore her as well. Yeah, she's 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 got a negative two charisma. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a negative one charisma. Where should be friends? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Ordnance doesn't really know how to react to the fact that everybody helped it out, so it probably will just hold still and spend a hit die on a short rest. Or I guess a long rest, I guess. Uh, on a long rest, do you get all the way back to full hit points, or do you just spend hit dice? I can't recall. Um, yeah, you, you effectively can. You're at level one, so you've got the one hit die. So it's, okay. it's fine to get back to full. Mm -hmm. Then I will do that. As will Pulverite. He'll pop out the crossbow bolts, use some <laughs> scrap of fabric from his luggage, tie the wound closed. Yeah, so for some portion of the trip, ordnance will be seen tinkering with the sort of scar across, his, across its front um, and trying to sew up the clothing so that it's at least not obviously there's obviously a big gash there. Nobody's going be fooled, but it's a start. Some of the panels... Sorry, go ahead. No, so some of the panels that you sort of pull out occasionally, he sticks the da it sticks the dagger back inside one of those panels. And it seems to be moving more, uh, over the course of the trip, it seems to be moving more comfortably by Great. the end. All right. Uh, the lot of you get 133 experience for that. That was a lot. Don't we level up at 300? Yep. Word. What's that? It's a word. <laughs> How much experience? I'm not sure. Somewhere. Uh, 133 per character. <laughs> Is that each of us get 133, or we split it? Each of you, it's 800 total. Ooh. <coughs> awesome. Maka goes back to her window seat to curl up. She really doesn't like the lightning. It looks like there's an experience. Yeah, I found it. Yeah, current XP on the core stats, it looks like. Gonna need to remember to use, start using our action points. Go away if you don't use them. I used one. Yep. Yep. So, so Ordnance will be happy to talk to people if they wish to talk to it, but it's not going to start conversation. It doesn't really know how to react to what just happened. <laughs> <coughs> yep. So, um... Hmm? So, in that case, my character's going to go over and sit across from Ordnance and be like, and has a... Do I have a bound book? Do we have... Books in this universe. My books? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. You've got so, lightning rails, so yeah, <laughs> definitely. I've got two on my person, in fact. You can still be using scrolls, whatever. So, I have this out that um, if Ordnance looks at the cover of my book, has printed nicely in gold family expenses. And so, uh -huh. I'm going to sit and be like, all right, I need you to tell me exactly what just happened. So, because I'm going to be taking note of this to write a report, since I'm going to be trying <laughs> right. to reimburse You're going to be writing this off. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nice. I'm going to go to use that real quick. <coughs> right, so, um, Ordnance will look up and will say, I was sitting here minding my own business when the tall woman approached me and uh, expressed a series of... Lady something. I did not catch the name. She I was being a bitch. Uh, according to the letter. The letter doesn't actually identify who it is, does it? It identifies it as... No, I think it's, uh, it mentions her name. You find it, but it also... It's addressed to a lady something. To a lady fool, yes. First name, perhaps, Bowen, B-A-U-I-N. Okay. I know nothing of this person. Uh, she approached me, and expressed discontent with my presence on the train, drew her sword. Uh, when I cast a simple defensive spell, she he points it points to the rend in its front, did this, and then things uh, went from there. Thankfully, the rest of the passengers of the train seemed to think she was in the wrong. Okay. Did you know any of these people previously? No. I sit down and wave. Uh, hello. No, I don't know anyone else on this train. Uh, do, do, do you? 
Well, now you do. I'm Taldoray. Taldoray's sitting on the bench behind Ordinance, but sort of leaning over. He extends his hand when he d and introduces himself. It reaches up awkwardly. Wait, everybody just kind of cut out at once. Was that just for me, or...? Uh, it was just for you, I think. T Taldoray reached up, said, introduced himself, and reached around over. I, I'll shake its hand, or his hand, and I'll say, uh, you may call me, I suppose, Ordinance. Please meet you, Ordinance. Again, I appreciate your assistance. Hey, anything for good? Small dog of Missouri. Sorry, what was that, Amy? I mock it, she says. A small ball of misery. <laughs> Ordinance will nod and walk its direction. <laughs> Is there anything else I can help you with? It stops because it doesn't know his or interact's name. Right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, uh, is, is there anything else I can help you with with your... Of, of course. Make sure that this is a congruent story. Okay. Right after they report. All right, so right. Matt, so, Matt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do. I just was reminded that uh, Darwin has lucky, so I can I could have re-rolled attack or ability checks. Yep. So. If you roll the one on them, yep. All right, I'll remember that for next time. <laughs> oh, don't worry. It'll be coming up soon. I think that'll. <laughs> Doesn't Lucky do the thing where if you roll a natural one, yeah. you can re-roll If you roll a natural one, you can re-roll uh, any natural one that you roll, basically. It's great. Oh, and Matt, on this long rest, I am going to use Arcane Recovery and get back one of my spell slots. Cool. I'm oh, sorry, it's a long rest, so never mind. I'm just going to get my spells back. Yeah, sorry. yeah, you guys have plenty of time to, to rest. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, so it sounds like Zerondorak is getting notes from everybody. Um, so those get passed along. Uh, does anybody else have anything specific that they want to do before you guys arrive in Irontown? I don't. All the right doesn't have anything. Okay. Um, so the lot of you, it sounds like, are just going to be splitting apart and going your own ways whenever you arrive in Irontown, which just happens to be in the same way, because, ha! Ah, um... <laughs> We're on the train. There's nowhere else to go. All right, so you arrive in Irontown. Uh, the hiss and howl of industry greets your ears as you arrive there. Uh, it's a city of smiths and miners, less a frontier town and more an economic hub all on its own. Um, the rail yard behind you is massive, with five separate tracks that run from Cronus Peak to Volyar. Um, the sun creeps over the horizon, and metal glints from everywhere here. It's called Irontown for clearly good reason. Now, uh, there's not really all that much important to do in Irontown unless you're looking to pick up some immediate provisions or anything like that, uh, mostly because everybody's destination is pretty much heading north. Um, so without too much trouble, you guys can easily find um, a group heading north, if that sounds like something you'd want to do immediately. I mean, I have no reason to think that any of my errand is happening in Irontown, right? No, I mean, uh, yeah. it, everybody knows that the, their roads lead north to Lakeside, pretty much. So, I mean, I'm certainly happy to work travel. I'll walk people, over to Ordinance. Yes. I walk over to Ordinance and I say, "Mind if I follow?" I am headed to Lakeside. Is that where you are headed as well? I'm just headed. Then no, I certainly do not mind. I don't believe I, I have no clear destination. I don't believe I caught your name. Ah, Umbra. Sorry. Umbra. Uh, it awkwardly extends a hand. It says, uh, again, uh, ordinance. I suppose is what you might call me. Whoop. If you like. Oh, the music stops. That's what it was. Yep, the rain stopped. 
No, that's, that's fine. I just thought I lost my connection. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yes, I mean, Ordnance will be heading north, so unless anybody else has any... I mean, I guess I will try to Did travel right? with as many other people who are also... Did I Lake Town Ordnance? Uh, yes, that is where I am headed. In the short short term, at least. So am I. Want to uh, split a cart? That sounds reasonable to me. <clears throat> All right. All right, so it sounds like as you're heading out, you're starting to make some connections. Uh, people are very clearly talking about heading to Lakeside. Yes. Are you there, Ed? Okay. Is it safe to assume that you would go with them? Yeah. Great. And Margaret's currently out. And just. Okay. <coughs> These markings, ordinance points towards some of the tattoos on Umbra's body. Do they have particular meaning? Uh, well, uh, well, this one. I point to my the depiction of Kyber with like the X's for eyes and the tongue sticking out. <laughs> this one I got because uh, well I used to be a cultist like I, my parents were sort of into that shtick, uh, and I didn't really much care for it. My teenage rebellion was a bit. Excessive, you might say. <laughs> Very well. Uh, yeah, some of them, yeah, most of them are just, I felt like getting a tattoo, so I got a tattoo, and it's, uh, if, if I haven't mentioned it, Umbra only, like, her left arm, uh, is before yeah right here I think you've cut out Alex yeah they're in it I think dropped up yeah looks like people's video people's videos keep kind of freezing on me yeah Anne has been in that same pose for over an hour yeah I can't hear Alex at all Alex are you there Alex has a question yeah what's the question Alex got his hand raised. Yeah, there goes Anne's video. <laughs> Alright, how do you whisper to people? Uh, slash W from the name and then you type. I turn my video on and off to try and see if it would unstick. Alright. Well, we got Alex back. Hey, there we are. Alex has tattoos so, back. You were saying that your arm chopped off here. Yeah, like... I don't, like, th this is just, like, Umbra doesn't mention it, because it's just, like, yeah, she, d she doesn't have the arm. Orton certainly doesn't speak about that, but it asks about the tattoos, I guess. Yeah, um, and for the most part, she's just like, eh, I felt like it. Very well. So everybody I is through um, a pouch and pops something in my mouth. Everybody's um, letting everybody else know that they're heading to Lakeside, basically, and banding together. Well, everybody is heading to Lakeside for different reasons. What? You are heading to Lakeside because it's the last known location of somebody. Well, you're headed to Iron Town, but it's it's a step on the way, right? Sounds as though we have a group then. Uh, when is the next train to Lakeside? Does anyone know? We, uh... uh, Lightning Rail doesn't go to Lakeside, does it? It does not. Ah, I'm sorry. I would have known that. When is the next like carriage or something we can we can charter to Lakeside, or are we simply walking? I was gonna book a carriage.
Well, you can make a... Why wouldn't we just take a boat? Or whatever, a passage device. Well, yeah, asking asking around uh, lets you know that people don't really take ships on the Lake Dark. Um, because the, the dead are in Lake Dark. Like, huh. that's where souls go. <laughs> um, and it's really bad luck to sail on it. That's what the local mythology is, yeah. <coughs> it sounds like they're like, oh, no, 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 uh, That's where, you know, th there's links there to the place of death. Um, souls come out on moon, on nights when the moon is full. They come up close to the surface. It's bad luck to take ships off the lake dark. Um, really, only smugglers do it. Um, Very well. So, uh, caravans would probably be your best bet, it sounds like. Well, does one of you wish want to uh, secure us a caravan? I would, but I fear that my reception in Karnath may not be that much better here than it was on the train. Yeah. Uh, shall we That might not be the worst idea. I'm afraid I have no money. Call it a gift. Um, we'll find something in Lakeside. Yeah. Or, what we're Lakeside, Ironside. Where, where were we going? You're going to Lakeside, yeah, you're in Iron Town right now. Yeah. Yeah. So, can we go into a shop and find a. Like, a nice cloak that is going to cover ordnance? Yeah, uh, Iron Town does not have fine clothiers, but you can easily find like a wool cloak for cheap, a uh, wool cloak for cheap uh, to, to wrap him up in. Okay, I'll cover him well enough. I'll cover up his mm -hmm. head. Yep. Not look sketchy, sketch. No, well, I mean he looks fairly sketchy, but not so sketchy that you'd notice. Okay. <laughs> Very kind of you, Rack. Everyone. He feels the person beneath. Nothing fishy about that. Right, Taldor is going to go try and find a caravan or that's heading out that he can be in and sign up and the others uh, to either help protect or as laborers along the way and if not, just uh, charter a cart. Alrighty. Um... So yeah, you you uh, wind up speaking with um, a local business owner by the name of Forsend. Uh, she is uh, one of the few people here that actually ships out to the frontier. For the most part, they send stuff along the uh, the lightning rail. It sounds like, um, but she's happy to speak with you. Uh, yeah, you are looking for. Uh, Somebody to take you north up the lakeside? Yes, me and several of my new friends. Well, that's fair. Um, are you interested for work? As a, as a guard? Since the war ended, there are lots of bandits on the roads. You know, soldiers that find returning home to be too boring for them, I suppose. I wouldn't be opposed to it, and my new friends can certainly handle themselves in a fight. How many are you? Six, including myself. Sir, I can offer each of you a day pay of five silver. Will that work? Fine with me. Let me go, ta let me go talk to the others. Where can we meet you? Oh, we'll be leaving from the gates tomorrow morning. All right. Even from wait, Westgate? Uh north yeah, from from the north. So they're they're heading northwest basically. So Northwest. Gate. There's one main gate that heads up along uh the, the, the Lake City only path, has one basically. Gate. I iron just one gate in Iron Town. Well, and I the mean there, there's one path that goes towards Lakeside. It's actually called the Lakeside Path, because that's where it goes. Um okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> well then, yes, the gate to the lakeside pass. Yeah, I mean, Alright, so we can talk to the others. It's the frontier. They name things what they are. So, um... The north gate. What's on the north side of town. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, yeah, so the, the one up there, I mean, just ask around and they should be able to give you directions. It's not a problem. Um... Regardless, right. uh, that's the author. Uh, if you want to come with us, yes, just join and we'll send the coin your way. Alright. I'd be happy to help. Excellent. So, Taldoray returns to the others and gives them the skivvy. <coughs> I've talked to a caravan, they're looking for guards. We can get paid five silver a day and passage to Lakeside. If, uh, <coughs> we help protect them, if, you know, should bandits attack. I've seen you guys, it doesn't look like any of you is afraid of a fight. No, this seems reasonable, Morgan says. Very well then, if we're all in agreement, shall we, uh... Book a room for the night, book rooms for the night, and then meet by the gate in the morning. Sounds good. Um, isn't I it? It's, it's, it's morning, isn't it? Like, we, we, like, there was the fight in the middle of the night. It is. I thought, I thought Matt said they were leaving the next morning. I guess I'm confused. It is the we next morning that you were leaving, morning. in fact. Uh, so you could have an entire day of raucous drinking if you wanted. Um... Or yeah, ordinance says a lot of that. Chilling, I guess. Oil can. <laughs> <laughs> I think ordinance is likely to try to find a. Uh, uh, no, we sure can't, Jessica. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jess. Uh, I think ordinance is likely to try to find a place it can crash and stay out of trouble for 24 hours, unless somebody invites it out to cause more trouble somewhere else. Mm-hmm. What was that? Yeah, you cut out there, Ann. Were you saying something, Ann? Cool. <coughs> That's perfectly fine. Um, and if you want to turn on your microphone again, we can just deal with the echo. Okay. Great. Yeah, we heard you that time. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll oh, just... Alex is <laughs> then Alex, Alex goes. <laughs> That's why it's fine, because Alex left. <coughs> I was Alex. like, fine, I'm out. My mic isn't needed. Um, is my video doing anything at all? Nope, no, it's, you're it's just blue. your face. You know what? That's you're fine. Sound, now. but not video for Anne, and vi video, but not sound for Jess. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Having you as a disembodied voice is nothing terrible, so. Um, and Margaret, I can't see. I mean, I can hear you, but I can't see. You appear to be frozen on the uh, on your screen. I can see you on Matt's, of course. But, yeah. Margaret's video is frozen, but I can see her moving around over Matt's shoulder. Yeah, she's yeah. a bit far from the routers. I've got a hard line, though, which is why I am great. The best of things. Yep. Yeah, Jessica's dancing. We see that. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm gorgeous. I can't, so that's <laughs> I can't see you guys. Just... Hey, Jess, uh, what you may want to do is go up to settings at the top of the Google Hangouts and make sure that your microphone is set up. Right, or that's something like right <laughs> microphone. I thought we heard her for a while, though. We, we did. We did yeah. hear her earlier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just know that sometimes if I... Uh, you might want to just log out real quick from Google Hangouts and log back in from Facebook. Because that's the best way I know to fix microphone problems. Okay. Alex is <laughs> okay. For some reason, Alex is in space. 
Alex has disappeared. He's he in the wind. He likes to do food stuff. stuff. Food or booze? <laughs> Word. Yeah. Is there a difference? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is gonna be right back, that's fine. Um, Anyway, you, you guys uh, spend a day doing whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, those of you who want fights can find them. Those of you who want peace and calm can find it. Uh, Iron Town is a pretty busy city, but um, the area right outside of town is not problematic. Um... <laughs> All of our Warforged memes. Um... Yeah, really. Um... <laughs> so the next morning, you guys uh, wake up and you can all meet for Sind uh, over at the caravan. Uh, she's glad to make each of your acquaintances. Uh, oh, wow, because... wow, wow, wow. What's that? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, for Sind is very, very glad to meet each of you. Um, you get the sense that things have been stressful lately. I'm wearing my new cloak, uh, so I'm trying to attract a lot of attention. I'm probably failing now. Yeah, and honestly, Forsen doesn't seem to mind the fact that you're made out of metal. Um, you know, she offers a hand to you, certainly. I'll take it. Did we lose Jessica, like, forever? Like, is Jessica just gone? <coughs> yeah, she Jessica said she would be right back, but... Reboot. Uh, um, there she is. is. Hooray! It's an empty chair. <laughs> <laughs> um, technical difficulties aside, Force Send uh, says, Hello, are you one of the six then? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. It's a pleasure to meet each of you. Uh, fair warning ahead of time. The frontier has been more dangerous recently than it has been for a very long time. I think it's a combination of people coming back from war and not having anything to do, and also just more frequent issues. Uh, it's been a bit of a rough patch for the frontier. The bandits? Not as far as I can tell. There's always small groups. Uh, usual sufficient fortification is enough to sway them away, though. Heard you. I heard Hi, you. Jessica, I can hear you. Heard you. Heard you. You're a little soft, but we can hear you. Yep. Back on? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Alrighty, so everybody's with the caravan heading north. Um, it is about a day and a half's journey to Lakeside. And from what you understand of Force and uh, the way that she's talking about it, she doesn't just stop at Lakeside, she just sort of does a, uh, a ringed path um, hitting other frontier towns that frontiers, uh, or that Lakeside is sort of a hub for. Um, <laughs> uh, she describes it as being about a week journey, all the way around, sometimes a week and a half, if she's spending a lot of time doing it. Uh, back to Lakeside and then back down to Iron Town to sort of get more supplies. Um, she does the road really well, uh, as, as do all of her teamsters. Um, and you guys are, uh, heading along for about, uh, half a day, whenever you encounter, uh, another caravan come back from Lakeside. Uh, currently there is a uh, very tired and angry looking dwarf heading that group along with a wagon that's completely empty. It's more of a cart that's completely empty. Um, and uh, a couple of guards that are nursing wounds. It doesn't look like things went well there. <laughs> the, uh, dwarf, um, 
steps away from the rest of this group and walks towards the rest of you. Um, he's got kind of a cold fury going on. It says, You'd better keep your eyes on the road because things are terrible out there. We were just hit by a group of vicious bandits, left my men in bloody rags, and they stole the boar I was transporting. Are you interested in making some coin? Tolerate trucks. I'm always interested in making money. I'm on a job right now. Cute. Tolerate. Look to the caravan driver. <coughs> there, uh, shrugs. Detour to go catch these bandits. Poison shrugs. He says, what, "What's going on exactly?" And he says, "There's a group of bandits near the roads, about half a day that way." Wretched fuckers, old Carnathy soldiers. It seems, but they're led by this man, the sorcerer, scum of the earth. I don't need the boar back. But I do need their blood spilled. If you can give me a promise of that, I can give you some gold right now. Sure. <coughs> I'm always up to fight, Karna. Sure. Four nine three. For like, what? <laughs> um. Oh, no offense. <laughs> um but uh the dwarf says good here <laughs> he just hands you a sack full of silver um it says if you have any honor you'll make them all pay <coughs> just come on boys we're headed back to iron town and we're never coming back here again um, and he, you know, offers everybody else along, so. No, not really. So, wait, Ordnance says, we're going to take some time off from our current mission <coughs> and we're going to go pursue bandits off into the mountains? I figured we'd pursue them only if we could spy them from the road. I'm not going to go hunting. I'm not going to leave this job to go hunting for other bandits. Could we send some number of people ahead as reconnaissance? I could do recon. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm admittedly ill-suited to it myself. You gotta speak up, Jessica. We can't quite hear you. I said, can I sneaky sneak? I can't remember. Well, you've got very high dexterity, so... Yeah. Um, my I'm gut instinct is yes. <laughs> I have high dexterity, but I'm not trained in stealth. Plus four is pretty good. Okay. Good lord. I'll sneak on ahead and see what I can find. Darwin volunteers to move forward as well. Okay, so it sounds like three of you are sneaking ahead, then. Um, yeah, just I'll, I'll basically behind with the caravan. Yeah. Sounds like basically you're you're just going to be going about 300 paces ahead of the caravan. Does that sound about right? Sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, so you guys are trucking on ahead then. Um And uh in another couple of hours, you could hear raucous singing. Up ahead and just off the road. Okay, I'm gonna cast magic armor or major armor <coughs> on myself. Okay, so that's already done. Yeah. Uh, so the three of you that are scouting ahead can definitely hear this raucous singing up ahead. Uh, it's it's off the road over to the left, up into a set of bluffs uh, that are set sort of aside. Oh. The caravan would be heading under the bluffs, basically, or along the bluffs. And there goes Anne. Okay, give me a stealth check. Okay. So 
So you start sneaking ahead, but you are making a bit of sound crackling in the, the underbrush. And uh, as you creep around, you see this guy as he sees you. There's a guy uh, sort of seated on a boulder up ahead. And he notices you rough, uh, rustling through the undergrowth down there. Um, looks back and shouts. Um, we got company! Uh, so, you, along with the three other people that are just behind, or the two other people, rather, that's just behind you, <coughs> are really close up. Um, you can clearly make out uh, a man seated on a, that rock. Um, there's three others that he's shouting back to, each dressed in muddy leather armor of a Karn regular. Just behind the fire is a large wooden cage. Inside it is a large bear. Uh, there's a fourth man that stands behind the fire. He's wearing a, a cloak that is uh, brilliant blue. He doesn't grab a weapon as the others do. And he's sort of looking in that general direction, but he doesn't quite see you yet. So these, <coughs> these are these are guys? Uh, well, the dwarf described them as old Carnathy soldiers, so it looks... Well, looking over at the fire, you do see something roasting on the spit. Okay. Well, at this point, they're just sort of getting alert to the fact that you're there. Uh, do you want to jump back and grab the rest of the party? Okay, so the dwarf disappears back. Um, <coughs> you hear some shouted conversation from over there. What is it, man? There was somebody over there in the bushes. Um, the rest of you can pretty easily get caught up. Uh, there is sort of a, a rough path up into the bluffs to where they are. <coughs> Ordinance will just ask what they saw as it casts the uh, command jar on itself. <coughs> Four guys, a bear in a cage, and a dead boar. Mm, this okay. sounds like them. Yep. It produces the dagger from its uh, compartment. It says, how should we do this then? I always like the direct method. Caravan and yes, there's another group they're working with on the other side. What sort of formation? Who should be in the front? Ordnance begins to write off a series of militaristic questions, like, what's the plan of attack? Are we just charging all in with no as it goes, or who, who's leading the charge? I'm a good, I'm a good side person. Says walk it. I can handle frontline combat if I must. Not charge, but flanking with whoever is, maybe. I'm not sure. I can't run very fast. You do notice that Umbra is just gone. <laughs> Did anybody see where the tattooed woman went? I fear we should do it quickly then. Yeah. Where did, you see, where did you see these people? I believe they saw them in that direction, Orton says, and goes walking that way. Yep. Okay. It's hard to assume that you guys are. Bubbler heads off in that direction as well. See you, boss. We'll be right back. You can see Ordnance fiddling with a few things and still being disappointed that something isn't happening the way it wants it to. Uh-huh. 
I don't know what the look on Alex's face means, but I'm excited to find out. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're all just going towards what we hope is the commotion. Uh, okay. Ordnance is probably going to try not to be literally in the front because that ended <coughs> almost very badly last no, time. No, that was supposed to be a whisper. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, it's with Alex. Um, okay. <laughs> so I'll, I'll go mm. ahead and uh, set this up then. Yeah, I know. I know. I know I did it wrong. <laughs> oh, it's okay. There was a map. I thought I lost my <laughs> All right, so uh, this is sort of where you're at. This is uh, the situation that you're looking at here. Um, although I guess I'm going to reveal this area as well. Um, so that's clear to one of you. <laughs> And uh, it's pretty much going to be rolling initiative at this point in time because they aren't too Word. happy. <coughs> Word. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it correctly this time instead of however it went last time. Yeah, I'm getting rid of everybody's initiative real quick. I knew it right. Mine didn't want to let me. Oh, I see. So I have to select. Okay. Yeah, that, I was having oh, trouble with I that to, while on the train. I have to do that first. This is convoluted. Ah, that worked correctly this time. I see. Try again. <laughs> oh, poor Darwin. Are you kidding me? I get to re-roll that, right? <laughs> You are lucky. Ah! Oh, I got a five! Does lucky count in this instance? <coughs> I don't know. Um... Uh-oh, it's Tom. Oh, that's right, Tom the Bandit. <laughs> <laughs> He's showing up again. I didn't meet him there, right? That was a, uh... Piazza guy that was in the first that half, right? Yeah, he showed that up, I think, at one point uh, while you were around, but that was just that. That first. Alex, that was just a collection of exciting syllables, but it was not words. It did, it did show, show up later, later yeah. The... I'm okay. <laughs> Yo. Does, does Lucky count for initiative rolls? I'm looking it up right now. I got a five two. Oh, I rolled a one. Oh, I rolled a four. <laughs> what? It has short. Nope, it's only an attack roll, <laughs> ability check, or saving throw that you get to reroll on. So you do not get to reroll that. You're stuck. You're stuck. <laughs> I have pretty dice, I get to use them. Why aren't the, why isn't the turn order in order? Uh because it doesn't do it automatically. I'm taking care of it. That's curious. Alright. <laughs> <coughs> um You just have just the worst time with numbers. This is true. It's hard. Okay. Uh, do we have everybody's initiative on there? Margaret, what's your initiative? I put my notes. I thought I did. I 
Okay. Okay, it didn't roll. It didn't add you in for whatever reason. That's weird. I'll add you in manually. Does initiative count as an ability check? Uh, yes. So yeah, she gets to re-roll it. Oh yeah, I guess so. Go and re-roll it then. Jessica? I'll re-roll for you, Jessica. I think I need more food than just Doritos and rum. Probably be good. Uh, it requires more effort than I'm willing to put into food. Did I hear you correctly? Doritos and rum? Spaghetti yes, I had a bag of Doritos and a glass of rum for dinner. Oh, excellent dinner. <laughs> I used to have that all the time. I'm an adult. Doritos awesome. And rum and the other. Okay, uh, Alex, you're up first. Alright, uh, uh, I, I want to sneak, because, like, I really want to Assassin's Creed this guy. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, uh, that's six squares, that's six squares of movement with a... With a 22? 18 plus 18 plus 4? 4? I'm not trained. Uh, yeah. Okay. You're successful. Alright, alright. Uh, 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 how high up uh, are the, are the rocks that rocks are above, above there? Because I'm going to want to try to get up there. 15 feet. You can make an athletics check. Like, ideally, I'd like to be like there, like by the barricade or something. Okay. Uh, make me an athletics check. I can get a running jump. What's your athletics? Uh, that's uh, 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 plus four. Plus four? Nah, nah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you uh, try to scramble up. But you wind up staying down below. <laughs> alright, alright. Alright, uh, so that's your turn. Taldroy? Alright, let's see. Let's move that list out of the way. I am going to throw a javelin at that guy on the rock. Okay. All right, that's gonna hit and score a uh, score damage. Yeah. <coughs> All right, so you hit him pretty squarely in the arm with it. <laughs> um. <laughs> Are you going to move forward at all or anything like that? Uh, probably. Might as well go all the way. Can I pull out my spear as I go? Um. Yeah, that's no problem. Just so I'm not totally unarmed while in front of this game. I don't think you can make it all the way. I think you can make it like right there, where you were. Yep, you're right. <coughs> Alex has missed twice. Alex is here many times. Alex, Alex. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Margaret, it's your turn. <laughs> oh, I am here twice. Hey.
Uh, it's gonna require an athletics check to climb on top of that rock, though. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are you just going to stay there? Or? Um, I mean, I, I would like to be somewhere that is not out in the open. Okay, you can dash as a second action to somewhere. Yep, if you want. Great. Oh wait, and I should, I'm sorry. Here, let me reveal this to you. So you see that region as well. Okay, great. Um... Bill, it's your turn. Right. <coughs> Ordnance is going to go ahead and step one, two, three, to there. Okay. <clears throat> um, at this point, combat's joined, right? Like somebody else already threw the javelin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these guys are like already drawing swords and stuff. Then again, I'll shout, throw down your weapons. And somebody <coughs> has magic missile. Uh huh. Um, and I'm going to fire one each. At I don't know. Can I ping people? Can I do that? Sure. How do I do that? Uh, just let me know who. I, uh, I was going to ping them. I don't okay. understand. Yeah, pinging is really infrequent. It's weird. Okay. So this guy here, the Taldroid shot. It's uh, fun. yeah. Mm -hmm. This guy. And then this guy, and this guy. Sure. Okay. And do you want me to roll three separate times or once? Because it's it's automatic damage. Um, roll three okay. separate times. Okay. This is for the guy closest to me? Sure. This is for the other guy in the brown cloak? This is for the guy with the, I don't know, the green shit on his head. Okay. So Ordnance sort of shouts, throw down your weapons. Holds up the hand that doesn't hold the dagger. And there's sort of a, <coughs> uh, a grinding sound is one of the panels on his arm opens up and three bolts of magic fly out and slam into those guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's my turn. <coughs> boom, 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 boom. Uh, this is Tom's turn. Okay. Um, the guy in the blue cloak turns. He seems completely unperturbed by the fact that he just got hit with a magic missile. Um, he turns to uh, the cloak guy behind him on the near the fire and says here's your chance to prove yourself to me lads you want then you show me blood um so Tom nods and says sorry about this and uh levels a longbow at Talderoy bring it on Uh, he fires <laughs> two shots at Taldoroy, and Taldoroy just decks behind the rock for both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing too fancy there. Uh, Darwin. Taldoroy. <laughs> Jess, it's your turn. I'm trying to type to you. <laughs> and it says I'm unable to find a character with that name. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. And I don't know what the black space is. That's correct. <laughs> it looks like I can't really get around anybody. I'm, my legs are too small. How do I find out how far I can move with the arrow? Just below the magnifying glass, there's something that looks like a ruler. Ah! Is that what that was? It looks like a comb. <laughs> That's actually what I thought, too. <laughs> it's so you can fix your character's hair. 
I'm gonna hop on the rock. Okay, give me the athletics check then. Oh, wait. Is that what the fire's? <laughs> it's about 15 feet tall, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that then. I can't tell depth with this. Okay, I'm gonna hop behind Taldorai. Okay. No, stop drawing circles. <laughs> you changed the color. You're only 20 feet, right? 25. And anything for your standard action? Oh, right. You're a fleet foot. (laughs) (laughs) Anything for your standard action, uh, Jess? Fireball. Hey, why don't... Do I have spells again? Yeah, I mean, you can use the cantrips constantly, and you've got two other spells, yeah. Everything should be full again. I didn't know that, okay. Oh, and you can Uh, sacred flame all day. Like, you can do that nonstop. Oh, I thought that I only got two per day, and then... (coughs) You got two first level spells. Your cantrips are at will. Hold hold on, the music is way too loud. Sorry. No, you're fine, I just gotta change that again. (laughs) Why did it hop... Oh, it's because I logged out. That's why it went back to full volume. Well, 20 is weird. It is sometimes. Okay, so... Um, is that Cloak Guy and then Big Nasty's up in the top right-hand corner? Yeah. Okay. That's the guy of Javelin. <coughs> but I can't shoot through Telderite. Yeah, you can. shoot around Telderite. I won't but stand in my way. You won't stand in my way? I'm gonna save spells for big. Wait, I can continue to do spells no matter what. Your cantrips are nonstop. You can use as many of them as you want. The cantrips, not the first level spells. The, the cantrips. cantrips. Okay. I don't think the cantrips would be particularly helpful. I'm I'm looking at a wiki yeah. right now. Sorry. You can, like, easily sacred flame if you want. So. Yeah, that might be the only thing I can do. That's not useful. And then if these are loading. This is the first time I played a, a caster, I'm sorry. No problem. And 5e. Yeah, I might as well <laughs> might as well uh, sacred flame him. Okay, he fails the safe. Okay, D8. That's a one. He is burned that by the radiance cool. and collapses onto the rock. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, uh, that makes it a uh, bandit turn. Um. This guy pulls out a uh, small crossbow and aims a shot at Darwin. He misses Darwin, though. Yay! Nope. No hit. Um, uh, that guy's dead. A guy runs out from beneath this rock with a scimitar and charges oh, Taldoroy. <laughs> Surprise bandit! <laughs> um, 13 misses Taldoroy, so. <coughs> he just like swings wide. <sighs> Walk it, your turn. All right, rock, walk it. The last to go. She is going to do her little puff of poison in this guy's face. Okay. Um, 
He so yeah, safe. make a con save throw. He fails it. He fails the save. Mm-hmm. Um. Let's see how do I roll? <coughs> nope, that's not high roll. Hold on. Let me roll my dice. Sorry. Hashtag one d eight. I was trying to roll the dice. He Isn't takes... it a die 12? Yeah. Uh, no, that's for, um, is it? I is it so. a d12? I believe okay. so. I'm fine, I'll roll that instead, man. Cool, he takes 12 damage! Wow, okay. Uh, he goes into a coffin fit and just collapses. <laughs> one poison, one kill. Um. Alrighty. The uh, sorcerer goes. He turns and lifts up his hands. His entire skin has sort of a sickly blue hue to it. Um, that you can see pretty clearly now. He brings his hands down, and a massive storm of sleet collapses on top of you. Well. Ooh. What's that? That is the sleet storm that he's hitting with you with. That, that's oh, that's quite the storm. That's yep. huge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All of you need to make deck saves. Alright. How do I know what my deck save is? I failed <laughs> mine. <laughs> hey, you failed, Bill. <laughs> um, on the core stats, you'll see the decks, and if you follow it over, it'll show your save bonus, and you can just hit the save button and it'll roll it for you. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust this anymore. <laughs> no. That's fair. Oh, I think I saved. Probably. I think you Four did. Stats. Yeah. Oh, deck save. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Okay. Alrighty, so um, Margaret and Bill, uh -huh. both ordinances are on a rock fail their saves. You guys fall prone. <coughs> now that area is currently difficult terrain as well. It means that you need to stand up, which eats up half your movement next turn. Did I make it? This area is also heavily obscured. Do we take any damage or do we just fall? You just fall prone. Okay. It's just a bunch of sleet. It's real nasty. <coughs> did did I save properly? You did, yeah. yeah. It's just me and Margaret. Okay. It still has so it's heavily obscured, so if I want to attack out, do I have disadvantage? <coughs> what was that? If I want to attack out of here, do I have disadvantage? Yep. Okay. Because you're, it's heavily obscured here, I think it's actually a minus four to hit, so... Yikes, okay. <laughs> but saves, saves don't change at all, so... Yeah. Alright, uh, that brings us around to Umbra again. <laughs> 